Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about the slope between two points. So here I have two points, one, three, and three, one. What I'd like you to do is to calculate the slope between these two, point, these two points. And I have a special kind of alert right here. I said, watch this, much watch this. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about a little detail that a lot of students don't really know to even be paying attention to, and it will throw your answer off big time. Okay, a lot of students uh, generally have the right idea when finding the slope, but they don't do this one thing and they end up getting the wrong answer. So I'm going to talk about uh, this little um, thing that you must watch. It's really not a little thing because it definitely will affect whether you get this uh, problem uh, correct or wrong. But anyways, if you know how to find the slope between these two points, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to go ahead and thoroughly discuss how to properly find the slope between two points on the X, Y axis. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer here. And the slope between these two points uh, is negative one. Now, if some of you got this, uh, an answer of uh, one, positive one, well, you likely made the error that I am talking about. Matter of fact, it's like a 99% chance that in fact you did. And for those of you that did get the right answer, you may have been lucky. You may not know what I'm talking about, but you just happen to uh, kind of uh, do this correctly without being, even being fully aware of uh, kind of the procedure. Okay, so you know, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in just one second. But nevertheless, if you did get the right answer, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about finding the slope between two points. Okay, so let's go ahead and just kind of graphically see what's going on here. So here I have the point one, three, and three, one, and I'm gonna plot these on the x, y plane. Now I'm using the, um, uh, the term point, but in algebra, in mathematics, uh, point is the same thing as what we call a coordinate, and it's the same thing as what we call an ordered pair, okay? So uh, basically this uh, uh, one, three, three, one, these are effectively addresses, right? Like if you live on some, you know, you, wherever you live, you have an address, right? Maybe you live on one, two, three, uh, Magnolia Street. Well, that is your address, right? So the location or the address of these points, we use a uh, kind of location system and that is an ordered pair, all right? So effectively an ordered pair is we're going to have a pair of values and they're going to have a, a specific order. Okay, X being the first value. Okay, see so these are our X's and the second number is our Y value. Okay, so, but anyways, don't let these terms kind of throw you. They are all synonymous. So I can say, here's some coordinates or here's some order pairs or here's some points. They all mean the same thing. Okay, but obviously, you definitely need to know how to uh, find or uh, uh, write the order pair, the, you know, the x, y point for respect to points and plot points, all really basic stuff. But uh, here is the point one, three. If I was to plot it, it's one uh, on the x-axis, three on the y-axis, so it would be right here. And the point three, one would be right here, uh, three on the x, one on the y. Now, the question is, we want to find the slope between these two points. Really, it's the, a line that travels through these two points. We want to find the, uh, this particular slope, and the slope is often indicated by the, small, uh, by the variable a small m, okay, a lowercase m. Now, there's something that you need to know about slope in general, okay? So lines that increase from left to right, okay, as I'm looking at the XY uh, or, um, Cartesian plane here, XY plane, lines that increase have a positive slope, okay? Lines that decrease this way, like the line that we're talking about right now, have a negative slope, and then you have uh, totally flat lines, okay, horizontal lines. These have 
no slope, okay? So, uh, you know, like a, a line that's parallel to the x-axis has a zero slope, and then lines that are totally vertical have a slope of what, what we call undefined, okay? That's undefined slope. Now, I'm, I can really get into this, you know, um, in a more formal way, but this is not the video to do it in. There's a lot that you kind of need to kind of uh, understand about slope, but these general kind of patterns are important because when you're looking at something like here, I have, oh, I want to find the slope uh, between these two points or a line that would pass through these two points. If I look at the pattern, I'm anticipating that my answer is going to be negative, right? Because it follows that negative pattern. So when I calculate this, I better get a negative number. Uh, so just knowing if you want to cut a quick uh, way to check whether you think you got the right or wrong answer, just plot these uh, the two points that you're trying to find the slope with and just ask yourself, hey, are, is it a positive or a negative? That at least that's kind of one way to kind of check, okay? Obviously, if you have the wrong sign, uh, like some of you over here, okay, if you got your slope being equal to one, that's a positive number. The slope is negative, okay? So if you were to have those points plotted, you'd be like, oh, it can't be positive because uh, this is negative. Okay, so anyways, again, if you are having trouble with any of these topics, or if this video is a little bit too much in terms of like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you're kind of confusing me already, well, you need to kind of go back and just start from the beginning. So let me suggest uh, some more of my videos on YouTube um, about slope. I do have some more basic videos, but really probably want to check out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course and uh, go into all my instruction on slope. Okay, so what is the formula for slope? Well, there's different ways we can describe the slope of a line, and these are the most common ways. So the slope, by definition, is the rise over the run of a line. So we're talking about like a fraction here, right? A rise over the run. Now, a fancy way to describe this is the rise of a line, okay, is how much it's rising or dropping down. This is in the y direction, right? So we can uh, write it this way. The change in y, this little triangle, is a fancy uh, 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 way to say delta y, right? This is actually what we call the delta, um, and it's used more, this notation is used more in advanced mathematics, but delta y just means the differences of the y's, i.e. you're going to subtract the y's, so it's delta y over delta x. You see this type of notation uh, typically like in calculus, all right, in physics and things like that. But so if you've never seen it before, don't let it scare you. It just means that we're going to subtract the y's and so, uh, put that over the differences of the x's. So most of you are familiar with this formula for the slope. And you have y2 minus y1. Again, that's the change in y's, right, delta y's. So what are these y2s and y1s and x2s and that over x1? So you have the change in y's over the change of x's or the rise over the run of a line. So if you're given two points, uh, x1, y1, okay, and another point, x2, y2, we simply just plug in those uh, values into this respective formula and we'll be good to go. Now, if you uh, strictly follow this formula, you should not make any errors, but here is where students tend to make mistakes. So let's get into the actual calculation now of the slope between these two points. So here we have 1, 3, and 3, 1. So our formula, okay, our one uh, version of it, is uh, the slope is going to be equal to the change in y's, the differences of the y's over the differences of the x's. Okay, so where are the y's and where are the x's? Again, we're talking about x, y order pairs here. So these second numbers are the y's, okay? And the first values uh, in um, these points are the x values. So we're really talking about just plugging in all this stuff into this uh, simple formula and we should have no problem, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually do the calculations here. Okay, so here uh, I have the slope is equal to 3 minus 1, but and that represents what? Well, I'm going to subtract the y's. I'm going to find the differences of the y's. So where are the y's? Well, this is one of them, and this is the other. So I'm going to go ahead and take 1, and I'll subtract away from 3, or 3 minus 1. You can kind of see that right here, okay? No problem there. Now here is where students will make an error. They're like, okay, I get that, I'm subtracting the y's. Can I just say, 
uh, 3 minus 1, here's the x's right here, right? So if these are the y's, let's subtract the x's, 3 minus 1. Uh, would that be okay? Well, no. It has to be 1 minus 3 if you do the problem this way. So why is this? Well, this is this in very important detail, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay, order does make a difference. When you're subtracting the y's and subtracting x, x's, you have to be very careful. And when it comes to slope, there are two... Uh, huge common uh, mistakes that students make, right? The first one is students will sometimes put the X's uh, uh, over the Y's, okay? Remember, it's the change in the Y's over the X's. It's just, I'm just telling you from decades of teaching math, the kind of mistakes that I've seen. A lot of times students will forget the formula and they'll kind of flip this upside down. So don't do that. So that's one mistake. But the second mistake here, uh, the one I'm going to emphasize is probably even more common. All right, so when you're finding this slope between two points, what I like to do, what I tell my students is underline uh, one point. It doesn't make a difference uh, what point. It could be this point. It could be this point. I'm going to start with this point, okay? Now, if I start with this point, I'm going to use its information first, okay? So it's going to be, I'm going to use this y. I'm going to write that first, and I'll subtract the other y. So that's going to be 3 minus 1. Okay, see how that works? So I'm using this information first, this, this uh, uh, coordinate first from this point. So that, that's the differences of the y. So when I go to find the differences of the x's, I must use this uh, coordinates information first again. All right, so that is 1, all right? 1 minus 3, 1 minus 3. Okay, this, oh, the, this uh, coordinates information comes second, all right? Now, if you said, oh, well, I just subtract the x's, 3 minus 1. Well, if you did 3 minus 1, you would have 2 over 2 or positive 1. So that, again, we know that's wrong because when we look at the plot of this uh, of these two points, we're expecting a negative value. So this is a huge error. A lot of students make this mistake. So 3 minus 1, of course, is 2. 1 minus 3 produces that negative 2. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1, and that is what we're anticipating, right? we got a line uh, going through these two points. It's going to be something like this, so we're looking for a negative slope. Okay, so hopefully some of you out there that actually, you know, got this, uh, uh, the answer correct, negative 1, you may have just gotten lucky, all right? Hopefully that wasn't the case, but I can just tell you right now, don't feel bad about not fully understanding it's you know maybe some of you might be like wow i learned this but i never really understood that part of it well that's why i make these videos okay when i make uh, videos for youtube or anything else what i try to do is not only teach you something that you need to know but emphasize common mistakes okay uh and how do i know these common mistakes well you, that's the value of being a, you know, an experienced teacher you know that's not really in the textbook you you know when you see students you know over the years make the same kind of error i'm sure i made the same error way back in the early 1980s when i was taking algebra or whatnot so for whatever reason these are kind of common classic uh, misunderstandings when it comes to slope, but there's much, much more that you need to understand. So again, if you need additional help with this stuff, check out my, like, my uh, pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.